friends! My name is Sivan Spector and I'm an artist with the Chicago Children's Theater and this is my friend Craig. Hi everybody! My name's Craig! And we're going to teach you how to make your very own talking vegetable puppet today out of paper mache. So this is actually a two-day craft. So we're going to start with the instructions for day one. So for day one, we are going to need a bowl, flour, a measuring cup, a plastic or paper cup, water, tape, newspaper, and scissors. First step is going to be to make the base. For this example, I'm going to make a broccoli just because, but you can make literally whatever vegetable you want. It all needs to start with this base. So the base is actually made out of a plastic cup. Oh, no work. Plastic cup. And we're going to cut this plastic cup. We're going to make a hole a nice big square hole in it so that we can grab it from the inside after we paper mache it. That way we can hold on to our puppet. So next step is that we're gonna take newspaper and we're gonna just crunch it up into like the approximate shape of the vegetable we're making. So I'm making a broccoli, so I'm gonna kind of make a long stem and I'm gonna um, take some, some of this crunched up paper and I'm gonna tape it where I want it to be. So now, go ahead, use your imagination, make whatever shape you want. All right, so now we've made our shape. We've left room in the back to grab it. Um, I think this is kind of close enough. Well, whatever. We are gonna make the paper mache mixture. So you can put this guy aside. And we're gonna need to take the bowl and the flour to start off with. Take one cup of flour, Put it in the bowl, boop, and add one cup of water. You're gonna then mix it around with a spoon, and you're gonna add a little bit more water. So you're gonna wanna stir it until there are no lumps left, and keep adding water until the consistency is pretty drippy, but not too drippy. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a strip of newspaper, we're gonna fully dunk it, and when we pull it out, we're gonna whoop, squeegee it just like that with our other hand, and we're gonna drape it on our paper mache form. And we're gonna do two layers. We need to fully cover the form. So this is kind of what it looks like after we've done the first layer, and now we wanna keep adding bits that are maybe smaller to um, make sure that all the parts of it are smooth. And some of these, you, you see how wet it is at this point, like you don't even need to dip them. You can just smooth them over maybe um, like that. That's good. Oh, if you wanna just add like a nose or some facial features, you can just take a wet piece of newspaper and like crumple it up into the shape that you want and just like stick it right on the face there. And you might wanna take a few really thin strips of newspaper and go over that. Um, not that small, but, and just go over it so that it sticks in place. And you can also add ears, you can add eyebrows, you can literally add whatever you want. I'm just gonna do a nose. And then we're gonna leave it to dry overnight um, in somewhere safe, yeah. It's just going to need to dry, like, for pretty much a day. Yeah. Hey, friends! So, we're at day two. Your paper mache should be dry. And I'm going to show you the materials we need today. You need your paper mache, a hot glue gun with some extra glue sticks, um, paint, paintbrushes, water with the paint, um, for the paintbrushes, a rubber band, some thread, and some scissors. And don't forget to wear your smocks and put down newspaper. All right, now we're gonna get started by painting. That is the first step. Paint your vegetable however you want. Uh, you might have to do two layers just so that um, the newspaper isn't seen underneath. And I drew a little face on mine. You might wanna think about like, what facial expression you wanna draw on yours, if you wanna add any details or shading. And make sure that you're changing um, you're dipping your brush in the water when you change colors. So now we're gonna wanna plug in the hot glue gun. You might need a grown up to help you with this part. And we are gonna make the mouth that moves. So we're gonna take a rubber band. The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make one cut 
Oop, so our rubber band is like a line. And then you can decide how big you want the mouth to be. I think I'm going to make this guy's mouth big just for fun. So I'm going to just use the whole rubber band. But you can also make it smaller. You can make it whatever you want. So we're going to have two strips like this. And you can kind of think about, well, where do you want the rubber band on the face? And I'm going to put it over here. So the first thing is we're going to make the top lip. So grab one of your strips. And you're going to take the hot glue gun. We're going to glue. Be really careful of your fingers, okay? We're going to glue all along this strip the whole way. And we're going to smush it right down into the place we want. Smush, 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 smush. So now that this is glued on, we just want to make sure that the ends are also glued down tight. Again, careful of your fingers. You don't want to burn anything. If you do get burned by a hot glue gun, by the way, a cool tip to know is that you can always just stick your hand onto a table, and that's actually going to help. Okay, now for the second lower lip, here's the tricky part. We're going to glue just the ends down, okay, just the ends. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue right here, Boop. and you might want to use like something like the scissors to help you press it so that you don't hurt your fingers. Just the ends right there, and... Boop, gonna do the other end right here. Use my scissors so I don't burn my fingers. Okay, cool. And now let that dry for a minute just to make sure that it's really sturdy in place. Now, we're gonna take the thread. I would suggest using a thread that's either white or that's the same color as your puppet. You're going to want the thread to be longer than the distance between the lips and the end of your puppet. And you're going to actually want it to be twice as long as that because we are going to loop it over. So this is about a good length for me. I'm going to take my scissors. Chop! Oop! <laughs> going to take my scissors and cut my thread. And now we're going to take one end of this thread and bring it through the bottom lip. Just like that. And at the bottom of the thread, we can tie a little knot so that our thread doesn't get lost. You also might want to ask a grown-up for help with this. Sometimes tying a knot in thread is harder than it looks. And now, check it out. Oh, well, hello there. We've got a moving mouth. And you can kind of adjust it so that it's in the spot you want it to be. Hi, friends. Now, the final step is that we can paint the lips and paint the inside of the mouth. So I painted the mouth purple, and I'm now I'm painting the inside of the lips. And as you can see, I'm like pulling this really gently. We want to be gentle when we pull it. We really don't need to pull it that hard. And I'm just getting the inside of the mouth here, because that way, when, when it opens his mouth to talk, oh, then we can see that he has an inside of his mouth. Like when we talk, we, the inside of our mouth is a different color. After this, you can add whatever finishing touches you want, sparkles, feathers, pom-poms, who knows, whatever your vegetable might need to be complete, and then we'll be done. Now we're all done! That was so fun, everybody! Wait, who are you? If you want to share your finished vegetables with us, you can email Jamie. His email's at the bottom of the screen.